Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Echidna Sewing and uh, today I'm going to show you how to change the needle on the Halo 100 commercial embroidery machine. Changing your needles is important. Obviously uh, needles will wear out, they won't last forever and um, it's a simple process but a bit different to say your standard home style machine where the needle has a flat back and can only go in one way. On most commercial machines you have a round shank needle and it's it's kind of easy to put it in the wrong way, but it's also easy to put it in the right way, if you know what I mean. So we're going to go, I'm, in fact, I'm going to go sort of to the middle of the machine and change, say, needle five there. So I'm going to go to my needle change option on the machine. We'll go to needle five. And um, now your halo may have either a slotted screw or a hex screw. Either way, you'll have the right tool in your kit to actually take the needles out. This machine has got slotted screws, so I'm going to use a standard the, the standard small slotted screwdriver. Uh, I'll first of all remove the thread from the needle eye and in fact I'll take the thread right out of the guide as well. And at this point I'm just going to gently undo the screw. A couple of turns. Don't undo the screw all the way, there's no need to. Once this, the, the screw is loose the needle will just drop out. As you can see it's fallen down now and I can just pull that back out of the foot and the needle is now out of the work. Uh, grab the new needle that you're going to use. I'm going to take this one that I've got down here. Now, here's the difference. It's just a round shank needle, and we'll uh, have a little close-up for you there in a moment. Um, but a round shank needle has to go in the right way. The needle has what we call a scarf on it, and um, the scarf is the part that sits above the needle eye. It's like a little cutout section of the needle, and it needs to go to the back. It has to go to the back. Of course, on the front of the needle, there's a long groove that goes all the way down the needle to the eye, and that is, of course, on the front. So, easiest way to put the needle in, I, I can find it's easy enough to do with my fingers. Um, pop the needle down into the presser foot first, and then just find the needle hole and locate the scarf to the back. Now, of course, I held it with the scarf at the back to start with. And once I've got that in there and I'm holding the needle, here's a little tip. I get the old needle I took out, which is, or a needle that's still got the point on it, and I push that needle point into the eye of the new needle, and I can use that to hold the needle in place. I can also use it to twist the needle to make sure that it is square. And in fact, a little tip for commercial embroidery machines, we like the needle to be slightly off square. And in other words, we like the scarf of the needle to be pointing to 11 o'clock. If you could imagine going straight back, there's 12 o'clock on the on the clock face, 11 o'clock is pointing that way and you'll see that I'm just twisting my needle to 11 o'clock using the point of an old needle in the eye of the one I've just put in and I just hold that there at that 11 o'clock rotation and I just nip that screw up if I can get my screwdriver in there and I've now put the new needle in as easy as that. You do not need to massively tighten this screw. It just needs to be firm, but don't swing on it till you, you know, you're going to break the screw kind of thing. You don't need to do that. As long as it's nice and firm, it will be fine. So we've changed needle five, and if you need to change the other needles, you don't need to actually select each needle and have it over the needle hole. You can change them in any position. It's not really that important. The only needle that is probably a little bit tricky to change is in fact needle one. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, but first, I'm going to turn the lights off on the machine just to help camera guy get a better shot because it's a bit glary. So if we look at needle one, I'm going to take the thread out of the needle there. We'll get rid of that completely, and the issue here is that I can't easily get to the, the screw that holds the needle in. Now as long as we don't have needle one selected over the needle hole, you'll see I can actually just pull the needle bar down by pulling on the presser foot. I can now see the screw and I can undo that and I can just take that needle out, grab my new needle, position it back in and if I wish I can get my my old needle, um, put the, the point in the eye, rotate it to the position I want it as I did on needle five, and then just pull that needle bar down again and simply tighten that screw. And that's how easy it is to change the needles on the Halo 100.